Come on, somebody praise him. Come on, lift up your voice and worship him. Just pause for a moment. Pause the music. I want everybody to open up your mouths in this atmosphere and begin to worship the Lord. Come on, shake the monkey off your back. Come on, if you know that God has brought you through some stuff this year, can I have a worshiper in this house this morning? Can you lift up the name of Jesus? Can somebody shout out the Lord with a worship? Come on, lift the holy, the holy name of God, the holy Can somebody praise his name this morning? We welcome Jesus. Can somebody just shout at him? Can you open up your sanctified mouth and begin to lift up a radical praise? Can you lift up a holy shout? Can somebody give him glory?
We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Come on, put it down. Everybody leaders, overseer peers, and pastor peers. Come on, put your hands together real good. Come on, put your hands together real good. Hallelujah. He's worthy in this house. I greet evangelist on the restroom with me, his beautiful wife. Come on, put your hands together for them. I acknowledge Deacon Rose and his wife, Minister Rose, all the officers, prophets, members, visiting friends, praise the musicians, accept holy greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Jesus, you are worthy. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus.
the same sin as if when they just got saved. Amen. And the Lord said to me, it is because the person is baptized, but they have not yet been converted. Jesus Christ. I said, Church of God, the thing mashed me up. Because I was saying, oh, oh, be baptized, but not yet converted. The Lord said when conversion takes place is when you no longer have the desire to sin. Ah, church quiet. I'm preaching good. It is when your desire to sin has died. So, I tell you, come and lay down. And you do it. Because that sinning nature is already dead. You don't hear me, church of God. The apostles were walking with Jesus. One was a devil, and one was not yet converted. Come on. Come on. He said, Peter, I have prayed for you. Because I see Satan is about to save you as wheat. It means that the same spirit that entered Judas entered Peter. Jesus Christ. You don't hear me this whole time. That is why Peter said, No, my Lord, you shall not go to the cross. I rebuke that devil. And the Lord has to say, Satan. The spirit. So renewing of your mind doesn't occur in your flesh. It happens in your spirit mind. I don't want any part of this. It sounds like sin. I don't want to hear it. It looks like sin. Men don't want to see it. It starts to smell in your atmosphere. You don't want it because you understand that this contaminates the glory. Could I make for our ministry? Well, the sins of the flesh has them restricted. Church choir, I'm preaching real good. Hear me. The mind is renewed first from the spirit mind. How is your mind renewed? Your mind is renewed in accordance to the knowledge of Him, God Himself. Yes. Romans 12, verse 1 to 2. Verse 2 says, And be not conformed, to the but be transformed. By the renewing of the transform. When they are transform, and it's like, and by the time you quit, you can't see what was previously there. Now the old man must exist. People tell you all, oh sister, everything is time true. But how persistent are you for the thing to die? You know, here. the only reason why Peter was spared was because God already prayed for him. You don't hear me, Church of God. He said, Peter, I am I have already prayed for you, which means that God already restored him. You don't hear me, Church of God. That is why when he was resurrected, he said, Tell my disciples and Peter. Yes. Yes. Jesus Christ. Because he wanted them to understand that. Peter messed up 
but he's still uh, in my will. Somebody don't hear me. Watch me. Of the mind it shows you the perfect will. The mind is renewed, but it's still my way. Come on, God. When she saw you my hair, you feel heaven. And she looked at me, she said, Daughter. Don't you ever go to any young man's house and say you are strong? Yes. Every era I know is dead. Yes. Anybody hear me? Yes. I hope you're getting me tonight. Yes. My era is still alive. Yes. They are dead. Yes. Underwear. The bottom grown. That thing resonated, it stuck with me. Because she was telling me, listen, do not put yourself in positions to be tempted. Yes. Yes. Quiet. Watch me. Your mind cannot be renewed until things to reveal his heart for you. Yes. Renewing of your mind means you have to get to know the word. Yes. Yes. Who is the word? God. Come on, answer me, man. God. He's the word. First John 1 says, In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word came and dwelt with us. And we did not, we did not behold it, we didn't know it. The word was with God. So you have to first learn the word of God so that you can begin to understand his mind. When you begin to know the mind of God, that's when you detest sin. Be quiet. That's when people call you self-righteous. Holier than thou. I will make you a command so everybody have sin. Huh? You have one like you know, have sin too. But when you go before God and he begins to reveal his heart to you, you begin to see yourself for who you really are.
But there is one God and one mediator between God and men, and the man, Christ That's it. Three to four. That's it. Yes, can you read verse three to four? Verses three to four. So the will of God will expose the truth. Yes. Everybody quiet. Amen. The will of God will expose the truth. Amen. You will come into the knowledge of who God really is and what God really requires. You cannot be serving God, church of God, and you want your own will. It doesn't work like that. You have to die to your own will. Even with tears in your eyes. Not my will. But thy will be done. Jesus experienced this. Into the garden of Gethsemane. The Bible says he began to pray. Have you ever been in deep intercession? And God says, brother, take all the money you have. And take it to Mary Chief. But I need my money. May just get my partner draw. And you want me to take up the whole life of the Mary Chief? It brings a start of warfare in your flesh. That is when you are trying to resist the will of God. Stay with me. I'm taking me somewhere. The will for mankind is revealed only through God's word. Amen. People will prophesy and tell you, you're going to do this. You're going to do that. You're going to be so and so. But you can find the will of God for mankind in his word. Amen. I tell everybody, read your Bible no more than anything. Because scriptures and prophecies are being fulfilled. Oh yes. People are now understanding the move of God and what it is that God is about to do in the earth realm. Watch me. Oh Jesus. Watch me. As you study Him, who is Him? The Word. You begin to become more like Him. You begin 